I'm Lucy Ochaki with West Hartford Continuing Education, and this is Tours by Lucy. Um, I run a monthly show on the wonderful community television station here in West Hartford, and this is updating you on trips we have coming up with our wonderful Continuing Ed program. Uh, we are an arm of the school department that does fun things with your free time. And I've been coordinating trips with the program for 21 years, 21 fabulous years with this wonderful school system. And I'm here to share information with you about what is coming up uh, towards the end of this year for 2017. We are now wrapping up 2017. And I have a wonderful trip on December 5th, which is a Tuesday, uh, to the Radio City Holiday Show in Rockefeller Center. And you can see the fabulous Rock and Rockettes uh, perform their wonderful melodies and songs. And you can see Santa and a wonderful skit with two brothers looking for a present for their sister. And Santa assists them. And the wonderful nativity scene at the end, which sums up the joyous holiday season. So I wish everyone, first of all, a wonderful holiday season, whatever you celebrate. Uh, peace and joy to you. And we will finish off the year at Radio City, and we will head to 2018. So I wanted to update you on the catalog for the Continuing Ed program is now being worked on as we speak. And by the time you see this, we'll be crossing our T's, dotting our I's, and the catalog will go to print. So you can call the Continuing Ed program to register for any of these trips. And you can also register online. The number for continuing ed um, in the school system here is 860-561-6900. And the continuing ed office in Town Hall is located in room 419. And Ruth Kozlowski is our coordinator. And she is able to assist you along with Janet Lambert. And she is our fabulous pays our bills. Uh, go to guru. You can call her at any time with any questions. Um, I will leave you my cell number, which is a new one, which you may call me at if you have any questions whatsoever about any of the trips that you'd like to take with Continuing Ed with me. It is 860-414-1024. Again, that is 860-414-1024. And the first trip we have coming up with uh, Continuing Ed in um, 2018 is the Boston Flower Show, which is located in the World Trade Center um, on the uh, waterfront in Boston. Uh, it has been run for many years. It's a wonderful horticultural show with uh, Harbinger of Spring. And this year, being St. Patrick's Day, will be extra special in Boston. And we'll drop you off at the World Trade Center and allow you time to enjoy the exhibits. Uh, the program is full of uh, gardening information with wonderful garden vendors who you might be able to get tips on gardening from. But it's a wonderful horticultural show with seminars and talks which will educate you on, on gardening. And the floral sprays are gorgeous, so I think you will very much enjoy that. We took a break from that for a couple of years, but we'll be returning. So I'm very excited to be coming back to Boston. And also, at the end of the day, we will give you a few hours in the Faneuil Hall Marketplace area, which is the downtown shopping area close to the North End, uh, close to Haymarket, the wonderful produce market. And there's a lot of fun, um, exciting things to do downtown, which I will share with you. Um, on every trip that you take with me, <clears throat> I give you maps and information about sites that you can visit nearby during your time. Uh, but the flower show is a, a great beginning trip for me for 2018. I'm happy to be back. Um, I lived in downtown Boston for 10 years and really know every street, every alley, every cobblestone. So I'll be able to help you get anywhere you'd like to go in Boston. So please come with us. We'll, you very much enjoy that. Um, the next trip we have coming up with Continuing Ed, which is now scheduled, is the May 12th, Saturday. Uh, which is the New York City foodie trip. Uh, what I've been running for the Continuing Ed program for years is a shopping trip, which combines my love of food shopping in New York City. And we want visit this wonderful store on the Upper West Side called Zabar's. Um, I call it the Jewish grocery store grown up, which now takes up the entire neighborhood. And it is full of gourmet goodies. 
uh, that you can take home. We drop you off in front of the store and make it very easy for you to go in and shop and tell you about neighborhood areas that you may also visit. Zabar's is like the granddaddy of all the stores and they are just an amazing experience and it is a must, it is a must stop for us every single time we go into the city. We have smoke, a smoked fish counter, which is unparalleled prepared foods. When you walk into Zabar's, you are faced with a case of 600 different cheeses from all over the world. An amazing cheese selection, olives. There is prepared foods uh, galore. There is an amazing bakery where you can buy uh, the bagels, uh, the Jewish rye, the pumpernickels, the ciabattas. They have a wonderful line of breads, cakes, cookies, croissants, pies, rugula, uh, black and white cookies, you know, traditional uh, New York delicacies and specialties are available. Uh, there is a uh, coffee section, which they roast their own coffee every day, and they sell several thousand tons every single week at this store, and it is amazing. The prices are quite good. They have a great spice section, a uh, great olive oil, vinegar, and condiment section, and my uh, great um, pickup at Zawar's has been chocolate at the register, so that is one of your uh, wonderful rewards for going to Zabar's is buying chocolate at the register. So we do that. And then we head to Little Italy and Chinatown. And we give you an extensive amount of time for you to have lunch, explore the produce markets, the fish markets, the meat markets of Chinatown. There's one grand store there called Kaman, which is the Asian grocery store on the East Coast, right on busy bustling Canal Street. And you can pick up all manner of Asian goods there. And also in Little Italy, there is an amazing store called De Palos, which has been there for several generations. And we shop there and pick up our Italian cheeses. We pick up our pastas, our breads, our olive oils, our vinegars, um, amazing salome, wonderful cured meats like prosciutto di Parma, uh, speck, which is an amazing uh, prosciutto from the northern part of Italy and they do have a wonderful, generous tasting there. So if you go uh, to De Palos, you will find the best Italian products imported directly from Italy, authentic products that you'll take home and enjoy. We give you um, rent information about restaurants in the area, new ones that may have popped up. The oldest pizzeria in America is located nearby on Spring Street. It's named Lombardi's. There's also a store on the other block called the Levas, which has uh, cheeses galore, salumi galore, and olive oils and vinegars also. Across the street from there is Ferrara's, which is the oldest Italian cafe in America. And you can pick up dessert there, cappuccino, espresso. It's an amazing, amazing stop, wonderful gelato. And during the summer, the better weather, the warmer weather. And there's also a pasta shop called Piemonte, which sells fresh frozen um, in-house made pasta and you can pick up cans of tomatoes there and herbs and polenta and arborio rice and just a really nice selection of all uh, authentic Italian goods. We've been going there for many, many years and really enjoying it. And we pick you up and drop you off at, at a area nearby, which is convenient. Uh, also in Chinatown, for time on your own, there is a Museum of Chinese in America. And also there is an enormous Buddhist temple right on Canal Street, which you may have a peaceful and serene half hour of your time in Chinatown. And uh, it's a really a, a fun trip, and we're always adding new places to visit which pop up nearby. You're very close to Soho on the Lower East Side, uh, which is very doable on that foodie trip. So I try to give you all the information uh, possible that you would really uh, enjoy your trip and come back and, and see it again. Uh, on May 19th, we'll be visiting Boston, I do a spring Boston on your own. We do two on your own trips, and Boston is chock full of wonderful historic Americana. We drop you off at Faneuil Hall Marketplace, uh, close to the subway, if you'd like to take a subway over to the Museum of Fine Arts or the Gardner Museum in the Fenway. Um, you can visit the Institute of Contemporary Art, which is on the waterfront. Uh, there is an amazing Italian section, the North End, which is a former home of mine, which I would direct you to some great cappuccino, espresso, Italian stores, Italian pasta, 
uh, what I call the pizza of my life at Galleria Umberto's, which is one of my uh, first stops when I visit the North End, and uh, will give you a lot of great uh, information that they are about things that are happening. Uh, you can take a walking tour of historic Boston with the National Park Service. They run them out of uh, Faneuil Hall, and there are some wonderful culinary tours you can take out of the North End prior to or arrange for the day of. Um, historic Boston uh, is spread out through several neighborhoods, the Back Bay and Beacon Hill, which are the old historic, uh, wonderful uh, 19th century townhouses are uh, gorgeous. The architectural tour is available there. Um, the Boston Common, the Public Garden, is a wonderful stroll. Boston Common is the oldest public park in America. And you can visit Kenmore Square. You can visit Boston University. You can hop on the subway to go to Cambridge to Harvard University. And they have wonderful tours led by the students of Harvard Yard. And uh, you can take a nice little tour of literary Cambridge and the museums. Harvard has some wonderful museums you can spend the entire day and just hop on the subway back to Boston. Uh, we'll give you a lot of great site information about Boston uh, when we go. And on June 2nd, which is a Saturday, uh, I do an annual trip to the Museum of uh, the, I'm sorry, the Metropolitan Museum in New York City. And we give you the day on your own, an extended day. Uh, we leave at five o'clock, which gives you a lot of time to visit all the galleries of this amazing museum. The Met Museum is one of the world's finest art museums. And going back every year is like going back to see an old friend. Uh, they have the finest Egyptian galleries outside of Cairo. They have over 60,000 objects. One of the favorite places to visit at the Met is the Temple of Dendur, uh, which is a gift to the United States given during the Kennedy administration to uh, First Lady Jacqueline Kennedy for her help in preserving Egyptian antiquities. So that is a wonderful wing of the Egyptian galleries of the Met you may visit. And they have visited, you can also visit on the first floor, the Greek and Roman galleries, which have been there for a couple of years, which are one of the finest around. And the Met also has the largest exhibit of Monet's outside of Paris. It has a fabulous European collection. And the Impressionist gallery is the best outside of Paris. And it also has contemporary art. It has Asian art. Um, the Astor Court uh, is a beautiful place to spend uh, part of your afternoon in a peaceful and serene environment in the middle of a crazy Saturday day at the museum. Uh, there is uh, a guided tour that you may take on an almost hourly basis, and they have special tours that you could take of particular areas. The docents at the Met are fabulous. They're very uh, well-informed. They are love to educate. Uh, they're some of the finest around, and we'll also give you some site information about some of the other museums nearby um, if you'd like to take a quick look into one of the, the area from Fifth Avenue uh, down towards Harlem is considered Museum Mile, and there are other museums that you may visit. However, I suggest you spend the entire day at the Met, and how you approach the Met is by taking a highlights tour and then speci spending special time in galleries that you're especially interested in. And their exhibits are far ranging. They run from uh, 5,000 years ago in all aspects of the world. Um, every wor place in the world is covered. So spend the day at the Met and really enjoy it with us. It is a very, very special trip. On June 23rd, we are visiting the Newport Flower Show. This is our annual trip to the Flower Show. Uh, it is presented every year at the Rosecliff Mansion, which is right on Bellevue Avenue. And the Preservation Society is the group that uh, is in charge of taking care of the mansions, their, uh, their finances, their upkeep, their maintenance, the tours. And they do a fabulous job every year with a different theme. And they go all out to really uh, share Newport history of the Gilded Age. The Rosecliff Mansion is uh, one of the finest ones if you haven't been. There is also time on your own in uh, Newport um, after the show. And if you would like the option of spending more time with the show, there is a shuttle that takes you around to the other um, main avenues and you can pick up the bus on the way back from the visitor center. The 
Newport Wharf area is old colonial, um, is an old colonial era uh, tour you can take. There's a museum of Newport history right in the Brick Walk you can take. There's a Newport Art Museum on Bellevue Avenue, which you may also visit. Or you can just stroll the shops um, along the wharf and enjoy lunch. And I give you culinary suggestions at every trip uh, that will give you um, uh, some great options of all price ranges, and I'll tell you about any special things that are happening in those areas too, but Newport is a really fun trip. We've been doing it, um, I think, for about 15 years now, and I really love, love returning to Newport on a regular basis, so please come with us. Um, in the summertime, I don't have dates for these two trips, however, I wanted to mention them is we will be visiting Tanglewood for the season. Their schedule will be out in early next year, and so we will plan on visiting uh, Tanglewood. We have done this in previous years and we have a wonderful classic music. If you would like to buy tickets for the shed, you may do so. Uh, we have yet to decide whether we will offer lawn tickets or shed tickets, uh, but we will you know, inform you of that in our catalog that, that comes out next, uh, next month and we'll set a date as soon as possible. We'll do it to be announced. And also, we are a baseball program with Continuing Ed. We are um, baseball aficionados. We love the sport. And uh, we'll be visiting Yankee Stadium in the summertime for the Red Sox-Yankees uh, rivalry. Uh, this next year will be the next chapter of the rivalry, and we will have great seats for you. So please plan on coming with us. I, I enjoy my baseball trips. We will also be visiting Fenway Park for a Red Sox game with a team to be announced uh, later. Uh, the schedule will be out uh, around Christmas time or beyond, and we'll be ordering seats and informing you of that. It may be out in the next catalog. Um, if not, uh, the other option for you is to just check online uh, because the continuing ed um, updates online as soon as a trip is available. So there's something you can keep in mind to uh, bookmark to return to, but we'll communicate that with all of our uh, past passengers as soon as we have that. So Tango and Baseball are definitely in for uh, the summertime. And also I'm planning a trip to Brooklyn and I'm looking at a walk across the Brooklyn Bridge and there's a wonderful foodie market that recently opened called the DeKalb Market. And we'll be checking into that uh, for a, sort of a foodie aspect of Brooklyn. And we may also be doing a, getting a step on guide to drive us through some neighborhoods of Brooklyn to show us uh, the various um, ethnic neighborhoods. So we'll work on that and we'll be sharing that with you when we have the, the time uh, of the day available to do that. Um, and also we'll be adding fall trips. Uh, we usually go to the uh, water fire exhibit in Providence, which is a very enjoyable trip. Providence is a wonderful, thriving, vibrant city. And what we do is we go to the Rhode Island School of Design Museum in the morning for a tour. If you've not been to RISD, it is a gem in New England and it is associated with the Rhode Island School of Design Museum. And they have exhibits there everywhere from early, um, you know, Greek Roman times to the present. And they have a nice revolving exhibit of contemporary art, photography, uh, mixed media. Uh, the tour guides there do an absolutely fabulous job of uh, informing us about Rhode Island and all Rhode Island related um, exhibits, which I think is a great plus for Providence. And what we also do is we go to Atwell's Avenue f to Little Italy. And there are some fabulous shopping opportunities there at a couple of stores, one called Venda's, one is called Tony's Colonial. And we give you some great uh, information about meals that you may enjoy in Atwell's Avenue. There's some great discoveries there we've made in the last couple of years. And there's also a wonderful bakery called Schialo's, which is old school Italian, family owned for several generations, which are my favorite kind of stores. And also there's a wonderful um, pastry uh, cake uh, cafe on Spruce Street called Pastiche. And they serve wonderful slices of cake along with wonderful coffee for you. So you can save room for dessert and go to Pastiche. And um, later on in the fall, we will be offering some fall such as Halloween type trips to possibly Salem, Massachusetts, 
and um, we really you know enjoyed the trips to the Boston area and that may be one that may, may be on the board for then but we will be also be uh, I will also be offering in the fall um, a bus to Broadway um, what we have done is uh, had the idea of going to a Wednesday matinee and dropping you off at the DKTS booth in Duffy Square so that you can make your choices if you've had tickets you have already purchased for that day. You can go right to the theater, you can go right to lunch, but we really um, will enjoy going to Broadway and pick a show that you'd really like to see and really enjoy. We'll give you some time on your own to visit. And also, we can also release this date now far in advance. Um, on December 1st, uh, it is our annual New York City Day on Your Own. Uh, we will um, allow you all day to come back late to go shopping, to visit uh, Broadway, to visit the Radio City Holiday Show, uh, visit friends, visit a museum, go to a holiday market. Um, that would be um, a great time for you to see New York City. Um, and also on December 4th of next year, we'll be booking tickets again for our, I believe it's our 19th year to Radio City. We have wonderful orchestra seats. We have um, time on your own prior to the show that you can do some browsing, shopping, seeing the Rockefeller Center tree, and we leave right after the program. We always schedule it for 2 p.m., so it'll give you a little bit of time to uh, relax and ease into this wonderful program. So this is the information we have available right now. Again, my number is 860-414-1024, and the program uh, we'll be adding, as I said, as we go along throughout the year, and you'll be receiving catalogs. If you have registered for one of our trips in the past, you will automatically get a catalog. And if you would like to receive a catalog from Continuing Gad, you can call their office, 860-561-6900, and they'd be happy to send one out to you. Uh, again, you can register online at whlifelearn.org. You can click on Continuing Education. Uh, you can create an online account, which you can register with the program you know, from your home, make it as easy as possible. You can walk in to the program and pay in person. Uh, that is fine. The confirms for all the trips are sent out about a week before, so you'll know the timing of the trip, when it's leaving. We leave from the commuter lot across the street from Target in New Britain. It is called the Corbin's Corner Commuter Lot. Uh, if you're familiar with the West Farms area, you just keep driving down and just take a right at that light where you turn left to target. So that is something that you can certainly uh, keep in mind for future trips for proximity. Uh, as far as registration for the programs, the program is not limited to West Hartford residents, and I just wanted to emphasize that. We have folks from all over coming to, uh, to our trips and you are welcome to do so no matter what town you are. So I wanted to also um, mention that uh, for you, for exclu not exclusivity and you know, feeling that you can take a, a trip with our town. Our town has a lot of great services, um, both with our program and uh, other activities that are uh, going on on a regular basis, and I can encourage you also for not only seeing this show, but also to uh, tune in to West Harvard Community Television and check the bulletin board, which is ongoing, which will tell you about other events that are going on in the town. Uh, that would be uh, a fabulous thing for to keep track of everything that is going on. And if you have ideas about trips that you'd like to take. I, I get wonderful suggestions from folks on my trips uh, for you know future trips that they would like to take. So I take them all and I research them and see what is doable, what works with the program. And one of the reasons why I'm very grateful to the program is that they've allowed me to do everything I've wanted to do. And their whole disposition towards the trips is um, if you want to go for it, go for it. So I thank Rosina Haskins, the Continuing Ed Director, for her support and her guidance, her leadership in running the trips. And uh, the town has been really fantastic as far as response to the trips. And I say keep it going. Uh, keep, keep coming on the trips. Keep traveling. Uh, keep sharing information because travel is one of the greatest things known to mankind, and I really um, have enjoyed and feel privileged to 
have done this with the town for as many years as I have and will continue to. And uh, I thank you very much for listening. And if you have any suggestions, I'll leave you my email also. It is Tours by Design, which is T-O-U-R-S-B-Y-D-E-S-I-G-N at gmail.com. And I would be happy to research that. So again, until next month, uh, which will be January, we'll start the new year fresh. We'll have some new ideas. We'll have some new dates for you. Please continue to tune in to my show and we'll be happy to share information. Get in touch with me anytime you'd like through the program and we'd be happy to talk to you. So thank you again for listening. Happy holidays to everyone again. And we'll see you, if not December, then in the new year. Thank you. I do.